Welcome back to News 15 Vikings. I'm Emily Dale. And I'm Jessica Tolson. If you don't feel like cooking dinner, you're in luck. The I Can Club will be hosting their annual spaghetti dinner and silent auction on Thursday, November 6th from 5 to 8 p.m. in the Vikings Den. A plate is $8 and all the money raised goes to the special needs programs at Johansson. Please come out and support our students. You may get your tickets from Mr. Hines in room V109 or Mr. Eccles in room V107. Are you sick of only dressing up one day for Halloween? Don't miss out on the week of scare. Marvel Monday, Walking Dead Tuesday, Vampire Day Wednesday, Costume Day Thursday, and Bleed Purple Friday. Now to birthday time with Tiffany Petrie. Welcome back to Birthday Time Vikings. I'm Tiffany Petrie. And I'm Victor Bluford. <gasps> For Monday's birthdays, we have Tristan Carver, Mason Pond, Betania Madero, and Martin Carrera. And for Tuesday's birthdays, we have Jerusalem Bluford. <gasps> what? Awesome last name. Oh. <laughs> Gabriel Rolano, Shelby Ibarra, Gabriel Alcantar, Ivan Batances, Cody Dutston, Sarah Miser, Priscilla Casillo, and Alondra Hernandez. That's it for birthday time, Vikings. I'm Victor Bluford. And I'm Tiffany Petrie. We'll see you next time. <laughs> The vampires will come to take your blood on Wednesday, but only if you turn in those permission slips to the student store. There are only a few slots left, and don't wait. You don't want to miss out? There will be a softball meeting in H112 at 11.45 this Wednesday. We will have spirit package information and Mountain Mike's coupons. See you then. Boom! Crash! Splat! Don't miss out on the pumpkin drop near the grassy knoll on Thursday during lunch. Representatives from our six pathways will compete for the following categories. Biggest splat, most artistic splat, and the loudest crash. Bring your friends and watch the spectacular and destructive entertainment. You know what time it is? I do. A public service announcement time. We all know tobacco is harmful to our health, but few of us really understand just how harmful it is. To give you a new perspective on the impact of tobacco, I'm going to ask you to close your eyes and listen carefully. I have a metal BB here. Now listen to the sound it makes when I toss it into this container. This BB represents one death. First let's think for a moment about illicit or illegal drugs. Drugs like cocaine, crack, heroin, and meth. Are these drugs harmful? They are, and they can kill you. Here is how many people die each day in the United States from illicit drug use. That sound represents approximately 55 people who will die today from illegal drugs. Almost 20,000 people every year. What about prescription drugs? Are these drugs harmful? Let's think about the use and abuse of prescription drugs like Vicodin, Oxycontin, Percocet, Ritalin, and Adrenal. Can you die from abusing prescription medications? The answer is yes. That sound represents the 55 people who die each day in the United States from prescription drug abuse. That is almost 20,000 people each year. Now what about alcohol? Can alcohol kill you? It can. Not always right away, but over time, consumption of alcohol can contribute to an early death or you may drive drunk and hurt yourself or someone else. Here's how many people die in the United States from alcohol-related deaths each day. That sound represents the 235 people who will die today from alcohol use, almost 85,000 every year. Now let's think about tobacco for a moment. Do you think the numbers for tobacco-related deaths are more or less than those for illicit drugs, prescription drugs, and alcohol? Let's listen to how many people tobacco will kill today and every single day in this country. That sound represents the 1,200 people who lost their lives to tobacco-related illnesses every day. That is approximately 440,000 each year. 
Three out of four people who are dying from tobacco use started to smoke before they were 18 years old. Every day, about 3,000 teenagers in the United States start smoking. Of those teenagers, most start smoking when they are 13 years old. Think about this. The tobacco industry must recruit 5,000 new smokers every day to replace those who have quit or died. Remember, tobacco is the only legal consumer product in the United States that, when used as intended, will kill you. Don't become a statistic. As we continue Red Ribbon Week, make the pledge to be drug free. And remember, Joe Ho says no. That's it for today, Vikings. I'm Emily Dale. And I'm Jessica Tolleson. We'll see you next time on News 15.